All right, Henry family, it is January the 13th, although it does not feel like it whatsoever. It is 61 degrees on January 13th, believe it or not. But uh, I am trying to put some more deer meat in the freezer. My family and I, we pretty much only eat deer meat. I don't even remember the last time I went to the store and uh, bought meat. Uh, we just try to harvest several deer every year and uh, that's our meat for the year. But last year we actually ran out. Um, so we're trying to kill a few more this year between my dad and I and my wife. Uh, but I wanted to try to do it uh, kind of in a special way tonight. So I brought my new original Henry. This is the 45 Colt model. Right here, I uh, love this gun, it's beautiful. It's just an awesome part of history. Uh, I just actually went and shot a couple rounds out of it to make sure it was still good to go out to 50 yards and uh, we are good to go. So I'm uh, sitting here in a place uh, that looks kind of probably familiar to you guys. I killed a doe here, uh, I think maybe in the first season of uh, Hunt with a Henry. It's been, been quite a while ago. Um, but yeah, killed a doe here um, a year or two ago on this exact same little corner of this field. So I am hoping we can repeat history tonight and put another one down. I shot that one with my all-weather 44 Magnum. Tonight we're going to try to kill one with the 45 Colt um, new original Henry. So wish me luck. It's plenty warm, but uh, hopefully they'll get up on their feet and move around a little bit. So we will see what happens. I will say this, sitting here I have seen a bunch of squirrels, so uh, I'm going to have to check the season dates, but uh, squirrel season is still on and I kill a doe here, I might have to come back and do a little squirrel hunt here as well, so we will see what happens, hopefully we get one. Well guys, the evening's uh, winding down here. If you can hear, I'm pretty close to town. There's a bunch of construction going on or something, I don't know. A bunch of equipment. It's been going all night and I have yet to see a deer. Not sure if that's why it was really warm today too, which is, I'm sure not helping as far as early movement. But, uh, there's usually a lot of does that come right through this creek right here, so not giving up quite yet, but uh, I was really hoping one would come in here pretty early, but not looking like that's going to happen. Hopefully one gets in here pretty soon, though.
Henry family, I think we just put down a big old doe with the Henry original in 45 Colt. <laughs> I, it was probably only a 25, maybe 30 yard shot at the very most. Um, I just did an interview saying I didn't know if we were gonna see anything or not. And uh, put the camera, this camera away. And I look up and on the other side of the cedar, I could see movement and two younger deer come out. I was kind of like, oh, dang it, you know, I didn't want to shoot one of those younger deer. And then all of a sudden I look up, a big old doe steps out. And this little one was not, I'm not kidding you, she was 15 yards. No, she was less than that, 10 yards from me. And when I reached up, sorry if I'm shaking on this camera here. <laughs> My adrenaline's crashing a little. She was only 10 yards and she spooked. Um, you could probably hear her blow in the camera and then the bigger deer, she kind of just walked out to see what the heck was going on and uh, gave me a perfect shot, put it right in her shoulder. I'm pretty sure I heard her crash, so I'm excited, guys. Hopefully we can uh, get up here and get this doe found. All right, guys, I hope the uh, autofocus on this camera is working here. It's getting pretty dang dark fast, but um, I followed blood here. I probably only went... Um, maybe 80 yards or so from where I hit her. Just got into the timber here, got on good blood. I snuck up here real quick just to make sure there's blood and ran back and grabbed the camera. But it's getting dark fast, but uh, there's good blood here and she is bleeding out an exit side, so I got a good complete pass through. She's just kind of following this uh, trail along the creek here. Got the creek right here. She's just following this trail right here. It's fresh, good fresh tracks and good blood. Um, I'm glad I got an exit. I knew I was gonna have to be pretty close to that shoulder um, with uh, the angle, but I think I absolutely hit her perfect. Her blood right here. Good blood right here. Bunch of good blood right through here. Looks like she stood right here for a second maybe. Oh, jeez. She's right down here in the water. That's gonna be fun. Well guys, hopefully you can still see me here. It's getting dark fast, but uh, <laughs> she fell down in the creek. Actually, it looks like looks like she was standing right around in here. There's several spots of blood. Looks like she tumbled off down in the creek right here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to get some help. So uh, before it gets dark, I'm gonna see if I can't drag her up the bank here at least. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I might actually end up coming in from this side and dragging her up this trail over here. So we'll see. Doe down in the creek. <laughs> uh. Oh, all right guys, just got in the truck, uh, got her gutted and drug out. It was a little bit of work dragging her up that hill. She died down the creek and we had to, had to go all the way around and then drive her here. My dad and I had to pull her up the creek. It was quite a deal, but it was dark and couldn't film it all. But uh, anyway, got her loaded. I am heading down now um, to a guy that does my meat processing for me. We got the freezer even more full now, guys. I hope I don't run out this year like I did last year. So uh, that was the goal, don't want to run out. But I can't believe, uh, blessed, first night that I've been out in this January late season, uh, antlerless here in Nebraska, and killed a doe the very first night with uh, the new original Henry 45 Colt. What a deal. Blessed night, fun night. God has truly blessed me this whole deer season. Two big bucks now. Three big bucks, actually. Uh, one in Texas, and one in Nebraska, and one in Kansas. So, been an unbelievable blessed year. Killed a doe in October also with Hank 308. Now another big old doe with the new original Henry, so just blessed season, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Hunt with Henry. Definitely enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, season three of Hunt with Henry is underway, guys, so God bless. We will see you in the next one. Remember, it's not made in America. It's not going to be made at all.